welcome, welcome. Hopefully people have had a chance to roll in since we kind of have a pre-stream, like, you know, screen before I, like, come on for Hunger Games. That's something I'm going to start implementing for other streams in May once I'm out of school and have time to do stream things. <laughs> but, hello. Welcome. Welcome to Hunger Games. It's the semifinals. I should have advertised that more last week. Last week was, I was a bit frazzled. It was a, kind of a mess, like, if you remember correctly, so it makes sense that I didn't do that. Um, just making my lights a little brighter here so they'll pay attention. There we go. That's better. Excuse the fabric in the background. I have, like, fabric that I dyed <laughs> laying out here um, that I still need to, like, prop and cut a jumpsuit out of tonight. Uh, but it's <coughs> excuse me. Just kind of draped everywhere because it needed to dry and I haven't moved it yet, but ignore that for the stream. It's not crazy messy back there. I just needed to kind of lay the fabric out, you know? But it, it is our semifinals. We're only down to three people. Uh, this week was not originally going to be the semifinals, but again, I cut a week out because Nico died in the first week as well. We had two deaths in the first week. And to kind of round out Hunger Games at the end of April, I figured, you know what, we won't do like a stupid mushy semifinal like specific episode. We'll just use the like last week to get down to final two as the semifinals. And in the finals, we'll just have two people left. I do have something more special planned for um, the, the finale, and I'm going to move some of the mushy stuff that I had planned for the semifinals to the finale. So tonight will just be another regular week, although we do only have three people left. I know. Crazy. Um, it feels... Th this one's gone faster than The Bachelor, which I expected. It's, it's sort of a more mini-series <laughs> in between stuff. But I think that's about... It? Yeah, I don't think I have any specific announcements. Go vote if you haven't. Um, I'm not sure if the poll's like automatically closed yet or not. I set it to close at 9 p.m., but it seems to never actually do that. Uh, they'll be closing in just a second for reward and punishment. Um, they could be very important this week with only three people left. Uh, <laughs> I think I have a feeling I know who they'll probably shake up being, but who knows? I think reward could be more of a toss-up. But we do only have Clement, Samira, and Una left. Tara died tragically last week if... Um, you were not here, or if you didn't catch that, I know things were a little messy last week. Excuse the hiccups, I'm very sorry. <laughs> uh, if Clement wins, I'm upset. If Clement wins, I'm unsubbing and banning you from the family chat. Sounds good. I that's valid. Um, I'm not really up in control of anything, but uh, we'll we'll see what the Sim gods decide. They've given him a lot of good luck so far, but I know he's not anyone's favorite pick to win. So <laughs> hopefully that does not happen. Let me... Wow, I didn't, like, prepare for this stream very well at all, did I? <laughs> Sorry, I've been taking a little brain time to relax. And then I was I was sewing up until I started. I was literally making straps for my jumpsuit uh, while the, the pre-stream <laughs> screen w and music was going on. But let's go ahead and just transition into the game. Uh, that That's it for my ramblings, I believe. <laughs> uh, we have everyone standing around... Um, Still, uh, just just sitting around Tara's corpse. I did move her gravestone over here already. We have Tara over here. Death number. Oh, I need to change that. It's death number four, the sanctioned mortification. But uh, we had our embarrassment challenge last week, where Tara uh, embarrassed herself to death. We're just gonna hit play here. They're just kind of finishing up having their grand meal that the winners always get after um, a death challenge, you know. He's Gob's pick. <laughs> Gob is a coward. I know. Like, I hate how much Gob likes uh, Clement because he's clearly not in favor with the rest of the crowd, but whatever. So this feels really quiet to me. I think my volume is just kind of low. <laughs> uh, looks like Fiona's having a little chat with Una over here, though. Oh, this is cute. Fiona, you should maybe get inside, buddy. Uh, it is raining out. I know you have your umbrella. That's good at least, but I would rather you be indoors and protected. Uh, Una's not looking very happy in this conversation. Yeah, they don't get along. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Excuse me? Well, I guess we're gonna start the episode fucking reloading the game because <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe Fiona like just smited her straight to her face. 
they were having a bad conversation and Fiona said no. <laughs> and just turned her to ashes. What the fuck? Okay, let's actually look at um, Una's moodlets here. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the mortified that I cheated on for people. Oh, what? Attract a sim? Which one? I'm finally leaving her humiliated, I guess. Like if she just has um, Peter Pants. Oh, I guess we can see uh, Tara's <laughs> gravestone over here again. I, I didn't save after. Um, the only thing I did when I loaded, loaded in the game before stream was just move Tara's headstone over here. Uh, we can engrave her epitaph again, I guess. Uh, wild, man. See, the one time I had, I had Sims up for a bit, I had it all prepared. We were ready. Mortification. There we go. Um, yeah, Una, I'm gonna... Girl, I'm just gonna have you come in here to be safe. We'll keep a bit of an eye on her for, for now. Um, <laughs> anyways. So we don't have a, a specific theme for this week. I guess we didn't really for last week. I'll try and theme it more next season of Hunger Games. Um, a couple weeks like the tech week I had, you know, kind of things that related to each other a little bit more, but um, this week is just kind of some leftover things I wanted to do. Um, next week is themed a little bit more um, as sort of a reward week, I guess, because it is the final two. So there's still going to be a punishment, but it's not going to be as uh, harsh as some of the other ones. Hell, that's nice. Thanks, Gov. <laughs> oh, help. <laughs> Hello. Jesus Christ. Babe, you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm, like, scared to save because... You know what? I'm gonna save again, but I'm gonna save in, like, a different save slot just in case the Una glitch happened again. I just got a last exception, which I'm gonna scream because, um... Again, I literally just updated everything and I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, even though I didn't check today, I guess. Oh, is this the only other save file that I made for Hunger Games? I guess it is time to make a new si save file then. I don't like to save too many times on the same one. <laughs> um, I'll play this though as I... I'm literally gonna go check at that last exception real fast. <laughs> see what it said. Um, but we can let it play while that happens. Um, unknown error. Thanks. That's not helpful. Wonderful. <laughs> Anyways. Made a new TikTok. It's trash. Is it your carrot machine one? I, I'll go look at it later. <laughs> I watched you make it though and it was uh, really funny in person. Credit to Gigi for my new TikTok, TikTok end card. <laughs> now be on all future TikToks. Yikes. <laughs> Looks like Grim is bouncing though. We got the whole I should get going notification from him. Oh, Fiona, oh, I don't trust them having a conversation again. That didn't go well last time, but at least it's inside now. Maybe that was the problem. Marcus Flex trying to hit up Samira. No, no. Uh, speaking of messages from people, though, we do have some more uh, Hunger Games feedback, which we will get to in a minute, but I wanted to um, get to at least reward and punishment polls first. Um, our, oh boy, buddy, <laughs> you should go inside and sleep. Actually, is there any, are things that need to be locked, locked? I think I need to lock the reward house too. Yeah, we'll just lock this for everyone. Because, oh, well, I guess I didn't necessarily need to do that, did I? <laughs> Tara's dead and she's the one who had the reward house last week, so no one here. Oh my goodness. Look at how much everyone hates Clement. <laughs> we need to start a um, everybody hates Chris spinoff for Clement. Everybody hates Clement. Oh, and down goes Samira as well. <laughs> Your TikTok is really disgusting. <laughs> you Do you mean the recent one about carrots or just their entire account in general? Because I agree. <laughs> um, Alright. They all had a turkey meal, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go ahead and put this turkey thing away. Bitch, Fiona, finish a meal or clean up after yourself. What is what, ew, what is that? Oh, fruit cobbler. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, she's already missing Tara. She already <laughs> she wants to cloud gaze with Tara's ghost. That's really cute. 
Okay, they're all congregating in the living room. Um, we'll, we'll let them hang out there. Kuma Wins, you should be the next Bachelor. Ew. Ew. Um, next Bachelor will probably be someone from the Bachelorette season whenever we get around to that. Oh, I need to make uh, dates for that as well. I think we'll have another one where, like, it'll be all men for this Bachelorette. And then after that, I think we're going to branch out and not only do straight couples, because that's boring, but I want to keep, you know, keep it even. We did one straight Bachelor, we'll do a straight Bachelorette. Then we'll start getting into non-straight <laughs> seasons. Because just like our Black Bachelor, ABC would never. <laughs> okay. Let's finally actually go close the polls now. Get your votes in if, if you needed to. Um, last time I'll say it. Okay. Let's close. This will take me a second because I am dumb and write really long. Uh one word one word codes for <laughs> um my polls oh interesting okay and less interesting and exactly what i expected <laughs> all right so for our we'll do punishment first because that's the less surprising one but um oh yes thank you for, for dropping a discord link if anyone uh happens to be hanging around who's not in here go ahead and join uh the polls are closed now but for next week uh, there'll be a Hunger Games pull up for reward and punishment yet again for the final two. What's happening? Oh, Fiona. Fiona, my dear. Hold on. This is more important. We need to save Fiona's life first and then we'll read out the results. Please don't mop in the rain. That's literally the worst thing your robotic ass could be doing. What is wrong with you? Um, <laughs> Clement is a uh, sad floating. Oh, he's got a bad reputation. Maybe he's thinking back on some of those, um, bad or, um, the, the hate mail that he got last week. Seeing you guys' feedback has a lasting impression on people. <laughs> Anyone who's here, go to Discord and vote for Clement to get the reward in Una to lose. That is... So rude. Okay, no. Listen, okay, listen. <laughs> I know we all want Clement to die, but I can't... I'm, I'm reloading again, literally, while I read the results. I'm really sorry. I know, I know. I can't do another week. We're not having a death at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> um, I will give him a disadvantage in, in the death challenge, for sure. It'll be easy to give him a disadvantage in this one. Um, we can send him into the arena, or, like, before the other two. We'll give him, like, an hour head start, like, a much wider chance to um, get affected by... <laughs> the circumstances um than the other two we'll, we'll do that to make it a little more fair but his punishment for the week is that um on because clement obviously won the punishment with four votes when got one vote for punishment poll i would shockingly i think we can assume who that is <laughs> that uh is hating on una for whatever reason but his punishment will that be that he's going to be in solitary confinement for a day. So we're going to do the day before the death challenge. So, like, that whole free day, we're going to lock Clement in, like, a in a little cell on his own. Um, maybe we'll just lock him in the arena outside. We'll give him, like, a little, little one-square roof area, maybe, uh, just in case of thunderstorms, you know. But he's going to be in solitary confinement so that uh, he will not have an opportunity to get the meal that day. He won't be able to, like, level up any skills. He won't have, like, a place to sleep. He won't be able to, like, chat to anyone. Not that that's, like, that big of a help, a helping hand in things. But <laughs> um, the bitch is going to... Here, we'll just... Honestly, we'll just leave this cage. Um, and I'll probably put a roof over it. <laughs> then <laughs> we'll lock him in there on the second free day. So... <laughs> I but deleted your hate message for Clement about smiting people. <laughs> I butt's a little bitch. We will, we will fix it. Did I at least get? Man, this last exception is just like fucking us up tonight. <laughs> the game is cursed today. It's wild. Um. Once Clement's pass uh, done passing out too, we'll we'll have him wake up and go get his fan mail too. Uh, give him a little bit of more negativity uh, to, to start off the episode as well. I'm going to fast forward a bit more to get through some of the time that we were waiting around. I gotta, like, I'm going to try and save a bunch tonight because things are wild in The Sims. Nightbot hates the Jews. I can't believe Nightbot is anti-Semitic. Fan mail. Yeah, fan mail. Whatever. Fan mail is the general term. Technically, it is all from fans of the show, so it counts as fan mail. 
Oh, I thought I thought he came inside. My yelling is my Jewishness. <laughs> Don't worry, I will change the cap limit. Um, eventually, I expect that. Uh, definitely beginning of May, perhaps earlier if I remember, but beginning of May for sure. Uh, why don't you come here? Oh, I need to put the turkey away too. Tofurkey, whatever. How do you make a whole turkey out of tofu like that? I probably just don't really understand the properties of tofu. Oh, also, Clement, come here. Come get your come get your fan mail, and that'll send your ass back inside. Uh, and then I'll reveal the results of the reward poll. Why is the mailbox at an angle? Why did I do that? That's really upsetting. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay, he's already not looking very happy today. Uh, for sure, but we did get some more feedback, of course, in the Discord and the uh, hashtag HG feedback channel. Um, oh, we've gotten some more uh, <laughs> sense too. We're just gonna read the like one that I already knew was there for now. We'll we'll read out the other ones. We'll give those to people tomorrow morning, maybe before the reward house challenge. Uh, but if you want to give some fan or hate mail to the house guests, it will be read out and um, affect them emotionally in the show. Go ahead and type whatever you want. Um, in uh, <laughs> the HD feedback channel in the Discord. But uh, Clement, you've received a message from our loyal fan say yet again. Um, so for the for this episode, good luck, Clement. You'll need it. Uh, that's nice. That's it. I mean, that can be interpreted however you, you you'd like it, Clement. You know, maybe that's just a good luck message. Um, let's let's give him a I don't know what kind of um, emotion move. Who is listening in to like K-pop in here? What's happening? <laughs> Um, should we do sad again or let's maybe give him like a bit of an no we'll do sad again we'll just give him a sad moodlet for, for that uh, fan mail for the next 24 hours <laughs> I'll save again after that oh Samira I don't trust you walking outside <laughs> Uh, the, the reward this week, though, is it's a bit split. It seems like our um, affections are a bit torn in the in the community now that uh, Tara... Well, Best Girl Sharifa died, and then I think a lot of people's attentions moved to Tara, and then she died. And uh, now Una and Sam Samira are left. Although Una's gotten a good bit of love in the past. Samira's just sort of, I think, written in the middle most of the time. She's not really talked about much. But this week, we actually have a tie for the reward. So Una and Samira both got two votes each. Um, oh, computer's freezing. It always freaks me out when the graphics card does this because I think Sims is going to die. <laughs> I really would... Oh. That scared me so much. If S Sims has never fully crashed, knock on wood, in the middle of a stream, if it did, though, I think I would lose my mind. That would be awful. <laughs> Samira out here crying at the, at the graves. Oh, she's crying over Roderick again, too. Poor thing. Bella says hi. Hello, Bella. I appreciate all of the pupper hellos. Very good content. Oh, hey, Arnold. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for, oh my goodness, the six months of subscriptions. That is wild. Half a year. I appreciate your support. So much support. So much, buddy. Uh, thank you, thank you. L lots of love to you. I hope you're having a um, good time. Oh, there we go. There's the bling. There's the alert finally going off. <laughs> I hope you are doing well, staying safe and healthy indoors. Thanks for stopping by. Why is there ashes in front of the television? Help. Marcus Flex is just really always on Samira's dick, like, at least this episode. Buddy, calm down. She's still on a TV show. Hey, if she wins, sure. Go for it. Uh, for now, though, you're gonna need to cool it, buddy. Oh my gosh, I haven't really looked at this whole line of gravestones. It's kind of cute. They sort of look like little ducklings behind the mama duck bush here. I don't know if that's just me, but <laughs> I like it. It's a it's a good look for this household. <laughs> Una's embarrassed, but she's doing well, I think. Uh, so yes, as I was saying, Una and Samira both got two votes in the reward poll, so they tied for reward, and I'm okay just giving them both the reward. Um, I think they both deserve it, and um, it's in the it's a reward that will easily be shared between two people. Um, so on the uh, second reward day, well, Clement's spending his lovely time in self-isolation out in the in the courtyard in his little um, booth of solitude. We're gonna give Una and Samira a little spa day. So Fiona can give them a little massage. Oh, if she can. 
If not, I'll spawn a masseuse in <laughs> to come give them a massage if her little robotic hands are unable to do so. And um, there'll be there'll be food in there as well, so they'll get snacks all day. Uh, and they can just have like a little day to pamper themselves, maybe a little sauna. I don't know, we'll set up a mini spa for them to have a nice uh, day of pampering for our remaining ladies in the competition. I think that they definitely deserve that after all of the uh, trials that they've been through. They've made it past so many different death tunes at this point as uh, both Clement, Clement and Samira get into the bed. It looks like even though she's unhappy, but Samira, please, that's disgusting. That's Clement that you're getting into bed with. You understand that, right, ma'am? Ew. Gav got Una the TLC she doesn't she needs. Um, I don't know that Gav uh, got Una that TLC because there is one vote for Clement in the reward poll still, and I'm gonna assume that that's got real. So uh, I haven't gone and looked at the actual results to see who voted for who yet. Um, <laughs> I need to go download those results in a bit. Uh, it is getting later in the night though, so let's have. Let's have Fiona first go clean up all of these dishes that she- You're just making desserts left and right. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> Let's have her clean those up and then we'll have her make a meal for them to set out in the morning. Um, now, I've decided- I usually set out meals equal to half the cast members left rounding up. There are three people left, so since no one has a reward house this morning because, you know, it's the first day, it got uh, relocked after last week. I will set out two meals this morning still so that only one person doesn't get one. Uh, after the reward house challenge though, I'm only going to be setting out one meal because one person's going to have the reward house all week and able to get food whenever they like, you know? So we are going to start rounding down after this first morning. You feel? Okay. Why would I? <laughs> Why would I vote for that meanie? Clement's an asshole too. You don't get to use that defense if you're going to support Una <laughs> or like hate on Una because she's mean. Clement is also the worst. It's so mean. Why are you humiliated? Why do you keep peeing your pants? You're literally in the bathroom. At least the death is making her happy. <laughs> Witnessing enemies demise. <laughs> Perfect. Um, okay. Buddy, what are you trying to do on the computer? I should have looked at that first. I know, I know you really want to use the computer, but first off, I really need you to make some food for them for the morning. I thought the fridge was broken again for a second and I was going to lose my mind. Oh, she's depressed. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> he said in fan mail that Una needed TLC. Oh, did he? Okay, see, I didn't really... I tried not to read the other messages yet because I'll read them once, um, once the house guests are reading them, you know. Uh, I'm going to have Fiona start on some food and then I'm going to go export the results of the poll, actually, because I'm really curious who voted for who. Because um, I only left it to... Uh, oh, I should have put that in my announcement for polls I meant to. I only left it to one vote this week. The previous weeks you've been able to vote for as many people as you'd like in the reward and punishment polls. Now that we're only down to three people, just like Bachelor, now that it's kind of gotten down to such a limited cast, everyone only gets one vote, one opportunity to make their voice be heard. You get one decision to give the reward and punishment to. Um, we'll save the really fancy meals for finale week tomorrow. What? Not tomorrow, excuse me, for <laughs> finale next week. Um, let's do some eggs Benedict though. That's not too. That's not too much. Um, I'll still do family size, I guess. Do 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 do. Did I do two single meals last time? Oh, she's trying to like mop up all the puddles. That's very nice of you, Fiona. You can do that later, but for now, please. Oh, what the? Why isn't it giving me the choice to export the results for <laughs> the the reward poll? Help. <laughs> Okay, don't worry, I still have a command for it too. Beautiful. We can, oh, Nico's back. He's looking a little bored, it seems. Picking up some trash, thanks buddy. That's very helpful of you. Okay. 
Okay, I mean, I'm not going to snitch on everyone who uh, voted for who, but <laughs> I will mainly snitch on um, Gabriel, though. Oops, <laughs> I exported the reward twice. It was definitely Gabriel who voted for Clement for the reward, though. <laughs> Shockingly. And of course, Gabriel who voted for her for punishment. <laughs> Everyone else stayed on Clement, obviously. You're all depressed. Did you finish making food? Oh, you did. Oh, you're a gem. Look at you. It's a beautiful eggs benedict. We'll go ahead and put that in the fridge. We'll fast forward a bit more. Where is Una? Oh, she's just talking to the ghost over here. Okay. I always get so upset whenever I see the whole, like, go home button here. <laughs> I literally always forget that they might be off a lot if they're just standing over here. I'm sure no one's surprised. Nope, not at all. God damn it, Nico. I assume this is your handiwork. Asshole. Okay, buddy, listen, that's really not helpful if you're not gonna fix the sink. That's a band-aid on the problem, not a solution. I feel like it's been a minute since we saw people in the gym. Who knows, it might be a bit helpful to you guys if you started using the gym and working out that fitness skill. Just a little hint. Might be helpful in this week's challenge. I saw your ghost flash to the uncomfortable color for a minute. Bitch, you're the reason that the house is dirty and making you uncomfortable, I'm sure, is the, was the cause of that. <laughs> You've seen the little tears on her face. But I do like all the details in the robots of, um, like, how the different emotions show up on their little, little screen faces. Because we can fast forward a bit more. Where's Una? Oh, she's like napping on the couch. Buddy, the bed's free. I'm gonna assume it probably wasn't when she went to bed <laughs> that Clement was still in it, but. Uh, we do have. So we have some fan mail for Una and Clement. I'll let Una go look at it when she wakes up. Um, and then we'll have um, Clement look at it right before the reward house challenge. So you can make sure that those mood loot buffs are uh, given on to them right before the challenge. See if they affect anything or not. Nauseated. <laughs> yeah, we're nauseated looking at you too, Clement. The K pop music is kind of lit on three speed. <laughs> Can you guys hear Sims? Okay. You must be able to. Oh, as we um, transition to the fall season, apparently. <laughs> I don't really pay attention to seasons in Hunger Games. I should have set that on like four weeks, so we were in summer the whole time. Oh, bye, Nico. You faded out like Una did at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> Clement beefing up on those uh, video game skills. As if that's gonna be the challenge again, buddy. Alright, it is almost 7 a.m., which means it is almost time to give the meal. So I'm gonna really quick uh, take Una out to the mailbox, give her her fan mail. I will bring her back inside the house, though, so she doesn't have like a disadvantage for meal by being really far away from the gate. Uh, don't worry, we don't wanna disadvantage her in that way, at least. So, Una, come on out here and get your fan mail. Uh, we, we have a message from a fan that hasn't necessarily weighed in before, even though he was the co-host last week. Um, so we have a message from Gavriel that Una needs some serious TLC, especially on her personality. 
that's really uh, incredibly rude to her. <laughs> I don't know that Una's the type to get like really sad and in the dumps about something like that. Uh, I think that would probably just upset her, so we're just gonna give her um, a bit of an angry mood lit for that, and then I'll take her back inside the house. Um, <laughs> make sure she's not left out in front uh, before the meals get put out. I'm actually gonna put the meal out uh, in the cage, of course. Get them their mouths wet and ready. Alright, you guys. Mm, there's some delicious eggs. Benedict made by our one and only beautiful Fiona, of course. Um, washing something in this sink. Has this sink literally ever been used? I don't think so. <laughs> We got 15 minutes till the gate opens. Everyone's Clement's the most hungry, but everyone's uh, got at least a bit of a tummy rumble going on, you know. Thank you, Fiona, for finally fixing that sink. You are a gem. Okay, and food will be available in five. Four. Is this not locked? I could have sworn I locked that. Did I know? Oh, I had to reload again, didn't I? Okay, whatever. It's unlocked. <laughs> Clement's grabbing the first meal. It's 8 a.m. anyways. <laughs> Please don't ever say that again. I don't know what you're talking about, Zay. <laughs> Alright, we'll see who gets the second one. And then after that, the, the food's going back into the fridge for only the whoever wins the reward house. Um, looks like Samira's making her way over, is she? Oh, no, she's going to the toilet. Una's got it in her sights, though. It looks like Una's going to end up getting that second meal. Seems like Samira might be she's out of luck for food today. That should be okay though. One day without food shouldn't hurt them too much. And yes, Una's gotten that second eggs Benedict, so they're they're going away now, children. And I'm gonna actually save just because I again don't trust Sims tonight. Acting up for whatever reason. Just gonna spitefully eat the eggs Benedict in the cage, I guess. Hi, kitten. Is it time for a kitten appearance? Come here, Shia. Oh, no. <laughs> Just knocked my hair clip down. It's fine as we watch our fave and least fave have an argument in the background. It's a kitten appearance. Say hi to everyone. Do you have anything to say to the tributes? What was that sound? Okay, you going away now. Can you pick up my hair clip, kitten? If only you had opposable thumbs. Okay, if you two could, like, get out of the damn cage. If you had to marry one of the three sims, which one would it be? Um... Probably Samira. Cause she's really nice, like she's like the sweetest, she's like the sweet motherly type, I feel like she'd be like good at taking care of, this is gonna sound really bad, but I feel like <laughs> she'd be good at like taking care of the house and like a sweet comforting presence and stuff and um, I just feel like she would be like the most supportive and she's the oldest so she'll die soon anyways and then I can get whatever money she has, so. That's like the smartest option, right? Oh, why are you feeling oh why are you feeling heartbroken? Oh, this relationship is just stale. I can't seem to have the sim in my life anymore. Who's that about? Clement maybe after he just yelled at her probably. <laughs> Mary Una, because I like it when my partners are assholes. <laughs> well, cause see if you're gonna do like Mary Fuck Kill, I'd fuck Una and like kill Clement. And then marry Samira. Because Una's kind of fierce and I'm kind of attracted to it. But I'm not going to deal with that for, t uh, like, till death do us part, you know? <laughs> it is a couple hours before the, um, reward house challenge, though. Clement's about to pass out. Uh, <laughs> alright, I'll let him sleep it off a little bit since he's crashing. Once it hits 11am, though, we're going to... Give him a wake-up call because we have another piece of fan mail for him real fast before the reward house challenge. Oh, these two are getting in an argument over here. My god. 
It's just a really hostile environment left in this house at this point, but I guess it's better to not make friends in this. Don't get attached. Maybe, like, Una's in Clamator the most master strategist by, like, distancing themselves from everyone so that they don't have to be upset when those people die. Maybe they're the smartest ones of the bunch. Oh, goodness. What is happening over here? <laughs> Samira not so innocent herself, though. Fuck you, Clement. Oh, is Nightbot trying to block? Fuck you. Fuck you, Nightbot. I guess I do need to go through and, like, really fix what terms I want allowed and whatnot. Okay, Clement. We're gonna reset the boy real quick. Um, I wish there was like a check mailbox interaction, regardless of whether there's mail in it or not. There we go, buddy. Wait, can I shift click this and like put mail in it? Probably not. Worth bills, dude. No, <laughs> that's not what I want. Okay. Um, oh, there's a make friends cheat. Where's that in real life? Okay, Clement's already kind of having a bad time here, buddy. But uh, you could have blocked that. But I believe in free speech. <laughs> Thank you, Gabriel. Uh, your mod powers have been revoked if you blocked that because that's an abuse of power but we have another message from zay um a loyal fan of course clement you know you got another message for you this morning buddy so zay says that uh clement looks like he cries after sex oh wait he does we've seen it <laughs> shit you right he's already sad i don't know do we give him another sad moodlet or do we give him angry for that uh -oh. i feel like that one might have just like upset him so <laughs> we'll give him a bit of an angry moodlet too we're gonna take a bit of a nap as we're about to head into our uh, reward house challenge for the day. Uh, they got 15 minutes left to get their rest in, get their skills up if they'd like, uh, and then we'll go into a very fast commercial break. It should really only take um, uh, a couple minutes to set up the reward house challenge for this week, and then we will go ahead and get into it. Okay, so yeah, it's about noon, so... We'll go ahead and head to commercial and we'll be back with our reward house challenge to see who will get to live in our beautiful VIP suite all week and have the privilege of a bed and food for the rest of the episode. So, <coughs> excuse me, stay tuned and we will be right back. Okay, welcome back. We're still around after our commercial break. Oh, sorry, I'm like, <laughs> like out of breath. I ran up to go to the bathroom in the break as well. Um, and then I had to stop to talk to Gob for a second because Gob and I, like, low-key started plotting out stuff for the soap opera that will be airing on Friday nights after Hunger Games is finished in April. Um, so starting May 1st, we'll have a little soap opera for our Friday night series. Um, <laughs> and I just, like, thought of a really good plot twist to, like, wrap the series up. I'm excited. It's gonna be really good, you guys. Uh, and then I, like, sprinted down the stairs to get back, and, um, I didn't realize how out of breath I was until now, so... <laughs> Very out of shape. Quarantine's like not helping because I don't move. But anyways, welcome back. Welcome back to Hunger Games. Jumping back into this series. We have our reward house challenge all set up. Uh, so we have all of our, oh god, we have all of our favorites um, and least favorites standing here in their athletic wear. <laughs> uh, ready to compete for the privilege to have um, their, their lives taken care of the rest of this week basically. And we've, we've had, you know, mental challenge, we've had some reflex challenges, that being video games and such. But this week we're finally going to test their physical prowess in a rock climbing endurance challenge. So each person is all set up, they're in the same position, they're in the, like already in their athletic clothes, they're all set up to start at roughly the same time at least. Uh, so I just like to stand around a little bit before they do it sometimes, so it might not be exactly the same time. But... Uh, we're, we're gonna have them each do just the easiest route on the rock climbing wall and then whoever stays on the rock climbing wall the longest is who is going to be uh, able to have the reward house for the week. We'll unlock the reward house to them. So let's get them started here. Durance challenge climb? No. Gentle incline, right. Okay. Then we'll hit play. If this takes like, if this is like ridiculously short, then we'll we'll do another one at the um, vertical incline between the two people that uh, fell off last. If this like only takes a second or two, you know. 
All right, go forth, everyone. Yeah, see, like, Clem had taken a second there. They're all starting at about the same time, though. That was, that was solid. Um, I've done this challenge. I used to have this challenge, like, on the roster way earlier in the season, but I've realized that it's, like, kind of difficult to do with eight sims still. <laughs> it's a lot to keep track of, and, like, half of them don't go at the same time when you have that many. Um, let's see if they beat If they all beat it, then we'll move to vertical incline as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know what their fitness levels are at. Oh, my goodness. Una is already done, it looks like. She already jumped down, so... <laughs> Nope, no getting back up, bitch. You drop. Listen, the second your feet touch the floor, that counts as you drop in. Um, if either Clement and Samira or Samira drop, like, right now, we'll, we'll do another challenge between uh, the two of them. The vertical incline for the full winner. I mean, Una, you're free to continue doing it if you want, I guess, but you're out of the running. See, you dropped twice already. Yeah, she's definitely angry. I don't think that is helping. She was already angry, you know. She got some hateful, uh, hateful fan mail. <laughs> um, she's heartbroken. Oh, oh! And Clement has dropped. Okay, I'd say that was long enough. That wasn't, like, an immediate drop. Um, so I'm going to count that as Samira being the winner. I'm good with how long that lasted. So congratulations. Finally, Samira's won something. We're very proud of her. Uh, like she's still going too. The old lady kicked all your asses. I'm very impressed. I'm very proud of her. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'm gonna go ahead and turn autonomy back on now. Uh, so Samira is going to be in our <laughs> reward house for the episode. Yay! And then starting tomorrow morning, we'll only be setting out one meal. Although I guess Clement's gonna be locked up tomorrow, isn't he? <laughs> that was what needed. Well, unfortunately, buddy. Um, the cards were not in his favor this time. Oh, Jesus. Why does Samira, like, literally hate both Clement and Una? They're, like, enemies. Hold on. Is that... <laughs> I want to unlock this for um, Samira really quick. And then go look at relationship panels, because I feel like it... Okay. Samira's enemies with both of them, but it looks like Una and Clement still aren't enemies. They just slightly dislike each other. Got it. I was curious if everyone was enemies at this point. That'd be kind of wild. <laughs> I have to say, out of all of the, like, Hunger Games that I've tried, this is definitely the series where everyone hates each other the most. This mix of people did not mesh well. Uh, I've never had this much fighting and, like, vitriol cast towards one another. <laughs> oh, is Samira making something? Cooking chili, that's so nice. I feel like she's the only person who's had this reward house that is not just mooched off of Fiona's cooking skills and is actually making herself her own meal. I feel like maybe she's missed cooking. She seems like someone who enjoyed cooking on the outside, you know? You go ahead and make your meal, baby. Samira's slowly becoming, like, honestly, she might be my favorite. <laughs> what are you needing if you're making chili? Oh, she's probably not making chili. She's probably making that custom meal that I have that I don't know how to pronounce because um, I'm really white. <laughs> um, the this one. Xia Xing Mian. That's the first time I've ever tried to say that out loud. I think. That's probably what she's cooking though, because I've noticed whenever it says like cooking chili. And then um, they whip out the like kneading dough motion. It's that meal instead because it's custom food. What is her cooking skill? On? How did I put her? Okay. That should be like the only skill that they don't increase, uh, whether purposely or not, in the house. Yeah, that is what she made. Go ahead and eat your meal, baby. That's good for Samira too because she didn't get a meal this morning. Um, she was not quick enough on the draw for that, so now she can at least have a meal whenever she wants. That's very good. Una passed out on the rock climbing wall. That's probably not the worst place to crash, actually. I'm not even gonna, like, make fun of her for that one, because there's, like, a mat down here. That's sort of, like, a really bad bed, right? Low-key, it's like a bed. <laughs> and I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to sleep in the same bed as Clement, either. Not that he's in the bed right now. He's in the bathtub. Y'all, literally, this full bed is a open. You're hanging out in every other unorthodox sleeping place. What the fuck is this? I don't understand why the rain brings different 
gems and elements to your lot sometimes. It confuses me. I'm actually gonna save again. I saved right before the challenge, but. Hi, kitten. Are we gonna have two kitten appearances tonight? I hear you whining down there. <laughs> I hear you whining for me calling you out. Oh, it looks like spirit. Are you. She's eating an old Monte Cristo sandwich. Literally, you made yourself this beautiful meal. Maybe she just, like, was... <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe she was just missing cooking. <laughs> Fiona's still all depressed. At least, I mean, okay. Oh, she's sad about deaths. I was gonna say, at least the people left seem to not really care when people die. They're just kind of happy about it. That's much better. It would make sense in this competition if people were more, like, happy when people died. Because it means you're one step closer to the million dollar grand prize, you know? Okay, yeah, let's fast forward. Everyone's still doing the same shit. <laughs> Samira's not gonna eat this. I'm gonna at least put it in the fridge so that it doesn't go bad. She spent so much time on it, you know? Also, were you eating a Monte Cristo with a fork and knife? <laughs> Bougie bitch. Where is Fiona, actually? Oh, she's on the computer. What are you doing? Oh, she's Fiona's having a little chat with the fans, you guys. Checking in on socials. We should make Fiona a Twitter account. <laughs> New idea to add on to the roster of activities for the reunion channel, uh, the reunion episode of this. Fiona kills everyone. Oh, and she wants to go rock climbing. Well, the rock climbing walls will be up at, uh, at least another day, Fiona. They'll be up until the death challenge. Not not tomorrow at noon, but the next day. So you got a little over 24 hours if you'd like to do some rock climbing, sweetie. She should ace that, right? She shouldn't need like any specific skill to rock climb. She's a robot. Can't she like calculate the best routes and shit with her eyes? <laughs> I don't know. I'm oh, still furious. We'll leave that move it on until uh, tomorrow. Oh, okay. It looks like um, oh maybe his anger replaced his sad moodlet. We'll leave Clement and Luna's angry moodlets on from the fan mail until tomorrow morning. I was gonna get rid of his sad moodlet, but it's already gone away. You going to read? I don't think anyone's touched this bookcase yet. <laughs> They've gotten bored enough that they're reading, ladies and gents. Are you reading Goodnight Moon? Yeah. Oh, maybe he's missing his kids. Not to humanize him a bit, but... Whew. Wait, don't trick Fiona with a hand buzzer. What are you talking about? Was that a whim or an action? We're <laughs> about to go play some book block and then cry in the bed in the main house, taking off one of the slots away from people. Mm. I see you, Samira. I see the strategy behind this action. We stand a strategic queen, to be completely honest. <laughs> You're both just angry because of fan mail. No, she's still like, okay, she doesn't like being around anyone in this house, so she's always angry. <laughs> Which is valid. 100%. Oh, I didn't like hearing some of your little sobs in the background. That was very sad. <laughs> oh, Fiona, are you going to check up on her? No, no, you're going to cry as well. <laughs> well, Fiona being strategic and taking the spots away from the, the gang now. <laughs> Fiona, bunny, you okay? Oh! <laughs> I 
help her. <laughs> okay, I'll get rid of your uh, depressed movement, buddy. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you bored for not dancing enough. Go dance, buddy. Oh, can I get the fuck out of there? That's a really good reminder that I need to close this uh, gate here. <laughs> Um, also, tomorrow is a free day, so that means um, we're going to do midnight to midnight. So that means, Clement, at midnight, um, we're going to go lock you in solitary confinement um, in here. Uh, you know what? I think we'll lock him in solitary confinement. We'll put him in a little cell, and then um, we'll put windows all around it so he can watch the spa day happen. We'll build a little spa right next to it so he can peer out and stare at his uh, fellow house guests. In, in their reward, getting some pampering, you know. What are you doing, Fiona? <laughs> so at midnight, I'll go ahead and go into build my mode. <laughs> and set up our uh, reward and punishment chambers for tomorrow's reward day. I'm not gonna keep Uno and Samir like in the spa all day, um, but he'll stay in there from midnight to midnight. I'm gonna, oh, not you, not you, Clement. Fiona, it is getting later in the night. It's a little early for this, but we'll have her go ahead and make a meal for them tomorrow. Um, let's do, Caesar salad feels like nothing. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and do prosciutto wrapped asparagus because I don't, here's the thing. The meal's not gonna matter that much. It's just gonna be um, interesting to see if Samira takes it. <laughs> from being in the reward house or not. Uh, it's not gonna be that important because Samir and Una are gonna get food in the spa all day and um, Clement's not gonna be able to grab the meal, so <laughs> we'll still put it out at least. Samir going for a little dip. I'm gonna keep an eye on her. We don't want any other unsanctioned drownings, please. Marcus Flex, leave her the fuck alone, I swear. <laughs> He's really on one tonight. Go away. Is that the music? That was like a weird alien sound, wasn't it? Is in like a classic alien sound anyways, not specifically something I've heard in Sims. I'm gonna go into mourn. Who's he mourning? So what's happening in this pan? Are you making prosciutto wrapped asparagus? There we go. A single, <laughs> single serving of a small little um. I guess it's an appetizer for whoever grabs it before we get to, into the spa. Got to go read. That's cute. Oh, Samira's about to go watch a romance uh, show, movie maybe. No, it's probably just the romance channel. Poor thing. Our our poor widow is about to go <laughs> watch some romance. Protect her. Again, in the main house. You know, she doesn't really like any of the people. She's kind of mortal enemies with all of the people left in the house, but perhaps she's just misses, you know, being around her children, like missing her husband, missing having people around her, so she doesn't want to be holed up all lonely in the reward house. I guess she would have Fiona, but I don't know that Fiona's, you know, Fiona's got things to do. She doesn't really hang out in this area that much. What are her and Samir's relationship? Oh, they don't like each other anyways. <laughs> Literally, why does everyone hate Fiona? It's only the dead people that were her friends. Help her. <laughs> Poor thing. Fiona deserves better, to, to be honest. What are you doing? Just standing around. 
Okay, we'll fast forward through a bit here. Kind of getting in a bit of uh, hygiene and energy help. Didn't you already take a nap in the bath earlier, you weirdo? Also, did I lock this? No, I did not. He's just got a lot of embarrassed moonlets. And since it's almost midnight, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take just a second and build by build by motor. I'm not gonna go do like a third commercial break uh, for this. You'll just have to bear with me and build by mode for a minute, but it shouldn't take too long. Um, I will leave a couple of these rock climbing walls up if. Fiona or anyone else would really like to take part in them. I also don't need any bomb checks on. Um, okay. And what we're gonna do... What? <laughs> Not that. The room tool is what I wanted. Thank you. Okay. Um, ooh, maybe we just make it like a little box in the corner, actually. That sounds nice. Um, so we'll make a little box in the corner for Clement. Let me actually... Put a door on this. Door out there that will lock once Clement's in there. Okay, this will be Clement's little solitary confinement cell. So he can get some, you know sunshine you know he can tan if he wants or whatever stare at the outside and he can stare at um his fellow house guests and their in their little spa day retreat so for them we're gonna get a little sauna i'll make sure no one dies in that um i will wall it off because i think you need like a walled off area for that Something's for massage. Uh, we're just gonna get a massage table, I think. And then we're gonna get that like banquet table of food. That comes with party, luxury party shit or whatever. Can you put banquet food on this? I think you can. There. Actually, make Clement's cell one square smaller, so he just has a little corner, just because I want to make sure that they can get into here. Okay. Let's just slap down some real quick uh, wallpaper. And some flooring. And then we will be all set. And we'll be putting Clement in here in just a minute once it reaches um, midnight, which should be soon. That oh, stone's not what I wanted. I wanted like this. Yeah. You at least get some nice furnishings, you know. Should we give him like a little painting? We need some lights too. I don't want to take too long, but. <laughs> Give him a little. Where's. Hold on. Where's the painting I want in here? <laughs> Give him a little art to, to lift his moods. There we go. Beautiful. Now all we need are lights and we're all set up. Well, if you want to go stack the banquet table in the morning. Um, I guess I'll probably lock this area off 
up until noon tomorrow? But we'll put Clement in here at midnight. So I guess he can just stare at what would be available to his <laughs> fellow tributes in the morning. There we go, beautiful. Nothing too fancy needed. Let's just go ahead and lock this one for everyone. And then, all right, buddy, you got seven more, five more sim minutes of slumber. And then to the chamber with you. Okay, oh, it's midnight. Oh, my God. Should have been paying more attention. Oh, excuse me? Oh, that's a ghost. I thought there was, like, an orange stray cat wandering around. <laughs> it kind of scared me, but I was going to be excited. Come on, Clement. Oh, you're mortified. Well, luckily... You, you won't have to be embarrassed by too much else, I don't think, because you're going to be going into solitary, so. I kind of want to see what it looks like from the inside. Oh, God. <laughs> yep, that looks about right. Oh, I should put, hold on, I want to put a locker down really quick so they can change into towels. Um, some storage, right? I don't know if I need to, but just in case. <laughs> one for Samira, one for Un Una. Those are the people left right now. I almost said Tara. Oh my god. <laughs> Never forget. Now we're going to lock this door for everyone. Have fun, buddy. How's your hunger doing? Yeah, he'll be fine in solitary with no food. It'll be a little tempting, I think, to watch like everyone else eat the feast in here, but... Um, he shouldn't die of mortification because he shouldn't be having to do anything else embarrassing, you know? It's a little iffy, but he should be okay. go okay already trying to go for the stove unfortunately my dude that's not gonna be happening uh regardless of whether you're in solitary to be honest oh no you going to kick the trash can that's very rude i guess that was a whim of hers though congrats you got some lifetime happiness points what are they called aspiration points why is my brain literally still always stuck on Sims 3 terminology? I think that's just what's more rooted into my brain. I will never switch to saying buffs and aspiration points instead of lifetime happiness and, and um, mood lids. <laughs> Wait, was Samira just sleeping in this bed? <gasps> Again, snake. It isn't too bad today because somebody's not going to be able to get in the bed anyways. But I appreciate the gameplay behind it. They didn't necessarily know that Clement was going to do us away to solitary right now. They were probably told he was going into solitary today, but I don't know if they were told what time. I imagine it's more like Fiona just, like, bursted into the bathroom and, like, yanked Clement's sleeping form out of the tub, threw him over his, her shoulder, and was like, It's time, buddy. It's time for you to be punished. <laughs> Again. Do you think the constant public hate is getting to him? Do you think he's, like, picked up on the fact that he's not really liked at this point? Why is everyone congregating? Oh, my God. Help. You two, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Samira totally kicked her ass, though. Look, just because she's the oldest one does not mean you should underestimate her. She's definitely one to be scared of, for sure. Oh, my goodness. You guys... Stop. I have to separate y'all. Why is Fiona upset? Could you two at least get inside so that Fiona- hold on, I'm gonna move them. Oh, okay, they're dispersing. Good. <laughs> Did you break the fucking fridge? Come out to the main room, Rajik. Samira, your, your friend really misses you. 
I'm sure she would love to see you. We support Samantha sleeping naked too, honestly. She seems to sleep naked a lot. Uh, she's a real queen. Oh, whoops, didn't paint this wall, I guess. <laughs> not gonna fix that, it's not important. Um, okay, Una, I really need you to, I'm gonna send her inside. I want her to get out of the way because I want, she wanted to pick up this trash can. It's making her very upset. So see, she was about to do it before I even started uh, directing her to. <laughs> you took up your trash. I mean, really this isn't Fiona's responsibility, but. I guess as the slave of the house, it kind of is. Throw away, throw away. Oh, her fun's down. What do robots do for fun? I know she likes to dance, but I don't know if that technically raises her fun levels. Oh no, a bit dazed over here. <laughs> I want to see her dazed face, because I feel like, yeah. <laughs> she looks pretty silly with that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know you're hungry. Don't worry, Una. You're, like, basically guaranteed a meal in the morning with Clement locked up and Samira in the VIP house. That might be one of the most, like, snake weeks of all to steal the one meal, though. Is if Samira eats it before <laughs> Una can grab it. Since she's the only other one who wouldn't be able to grab it today. How's Clement doing over here? Are we enjoying seeing him in misery, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Gov, how do we feel about this? How do we feel about this screenshot? Does the good offset the bad? Because I think it's all bad. But it's like one thing you like and one thing you hate. Oh my god, I never noticed that the clown in this painting is holding a balloon animal. Why have I never noticed that? I just thought he was, like, holding his hands out in, like, a Y motion at life. Not trying to present his sad, tragic balloon animal. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, I'm actually gonna reset Una, too, because she's in... She's glitched on that whole pattern of trying to go to the fridge but not being able to thing. <laughs> Which I think Clement does as well. So I guess I'll reset him too just to get him out of that pattern. But he shouldn't really need to do anything else. Like it's not like I've noticed that he's stuck here not being able to do any actions because there's not really anything to do in this room. <laughs> I don't even like Clement that much so it's all bad. I thought he was your boy though. Wow, are you abandoning your boy that fast? I see how it is. Oh, before I uh, get to tomorrow, I want to... Okay. Okay, so Fiona can give massages. Perfect. I don't know how good that'll feel, but I guess we'll see. Do we think Fiona gives good massages? What do y'all think? frames okay. the frames have been overall good this stream though so I'm not gonna complain <laughs> Fiona you have a television in your room why are you going to watch out here you're gonna wake Samira up <laughs> watching college cram do you think Fiona wants to go to college? Oh, that's definitely gonna wake her up. That is so loud and jarring. He was never my boy. I just don't like Una and Samira's boring as fuck. That's incredibly rude. You spelled her name wrong. That's incredibly disrespectful. And what do you mean she's boring? She's an icon. She's like, you know, the old lady fighting to, like, save her daughter um, and, like, donate towards medical research to do better in the world. She's like kicked everyone's butt in physical things she fights with people she comforts her friends i think she is um an inspiration and honestly i might be rooting for some am i rooting for samira over una at this point una's kind of been my girl since day one but like honestly 
I might be a Samira stan after this week. This week might have solidified it with her winning this reward house and the rock climbing challenge, no less. Because I'm pretty sure that Una has, like, a higher athletic skill than her. I don't remember what I put it to, but... I feel like she does. Hold on. Never mind. Una doesn't... Oh, no, she does. Fitness is at four. Oh, okay. They're pretty evenly matched in fitness, actually. <laughs> Una's just slightly better. Clement's the worst in fitness. Because I gave Una some more active skills because she, like, lives in the mountains and whatever. Alright, we're gonna fast forward a bit. It is almost 8 a.m. It's almost time to unlock the gate for, I guess, Una to grab her meal. This one won't be that entertaining, but <laughs> tomorrow we'll have a more interesting savage uh, meal. Meal ritual? I don't know what to call this. Uh, we'll let the asparagus sit out there, though. Oh, Fiona, buddy. Buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Fiona, buddy, you're a robot. Why are you trying to dip your toes in the pool? That's obviously going to rust you. That's not a good decision. You're made of metal and gears. <laughs> Please get out. <laughs> what is she doing? Wild. Okay, I don't think you're going to be able to grab that yet. Uh, we'll just fast forward till 8 a.m. real fast here. Uh, and then at noon, just like with the challenges, we will take Samira and Una into the spa room. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 8 a.m. Unlock. Go for it, Una. Get a little appetizer before you have a feast later. We'll just have Fiona go serve all off of that banquet table. Um, at noon. Oh, looks like Samira's up as well. Motherfucking Marcus Flex. You thought MF stood for motherfucker? Nope, it's Marcus Flex. Sorry for the sound, so it's making Bella birthday cookies. Oh, that's so cute. You're totally fine, Zay. No worries, as always. That is adorable, though. I hope she enjoys her birthday cookies. <gasps> Are we gonna have, like... Oh, my God. See, Samira's a savage. She's about to go take this... Oh, oh. Una sensed Samira was on the move. There we go. Una grabbed it. But Samira was really about to go for it, even though she has the full fridge to herself. Savage AF. <laughs> I'm also going to get rid of the uh, cheated um, anger moodlets for both Clement and Una. Now that it is the morning, the ones that they got for um, in response to the fan mail. Uh, we appreciate it as always. I'm not sure if the anger hindered them or, well, I was going to say I don't know if it hindered or fueled them in the competition, but they both lost. So uh, they must have just been a little bit too angry to focus on rock climbing and ended up falling. So, good on y'all for your feedback. Having effects. She already drooled all over the couch because I gave her cookie dough. <laughs> Adorable. Is it, is it Bella's birthday today or is it just soon? Apologies if you have said this in a Discord or somewhere at some point and I missed it <laughs> or forgot. So you want to clean it up a little bit? We'll just wait the three or so hours until noon and then let them let them give Clement a show, I guess, in a non-creepy way. Although he can take a creepy if he wants. Oh, he's enjoying the clown painting, I see. Taking advantage of the entertainment we've provided him. We're a kind of benevolent god at Hunger Games. You know, we'll give you a little bit of some something to occupy your time. Hey, Clement, you can either get off to the clowns or get off to your tributes who are about to be in here getting rubbed down, so it's up to you. Birthday's the same as Gob's, the most important 420 birthday. Hell yeah, that's adorable. Well, happy early birthday to Bella, then I'll have to remember on uh, the 20th to wish her a very happy birthday. Ooh, and about to go take a nap. All right, you can go get a two-hour nap in until we... Go to the spa. Oh, bills are due. Fiona, help. Oh, it's our hot, uh, it's our hot male lady. Ooh, maybe we should just invite her into the household to give massages. That's really creepy, isn't it? 
Hey, you've been delivering mail to us for a while. Would you like to come and give a rub down to the people that live here? Well, one of them watches with a clown painting in the background. No, you leaving? That doesn't sound like a tempting proposition. You sure? They'll be almond macaroons. Your loss. We'll get those bills paid lickety split though. Duh. <laughs> Feeling great. Good, Fiona. We like when you're doing well. This is a scene. <laughs> uh, he's still feeling embarrassed. I don't think his embarrassed mood should get worse while he's in there, even if the ladies are in the um, in the spa area, because I don't think the Sims really recognize windows as being see-through. <laughs> I mean, as long as there's a wall there, even if clearly it's see-through, the Sims I don't think really react to that. Ooh, we should play- we should do a fun fuck around stream, um, sometime in May, like, after my school's over to, to de-stress, where we just kidnap a bunch of people and lock them in a cage in the middle of the living room. Because my best friend in high school and I used to do that, and it was really fun. We just made, like, two beautiful women, which is, um, a subjective opinion, but we thought they were beautiful. Um put them on an island and uh any sim that came to it like a delivery person like a mailman or a delivering pizza or just anyone who decided to stop by and visit they got locked in the living room cage to live together <laughs> but we should do a de-stressor stream after my <laughs> semester is over something similar I could put a picture of the Sims that my best friend in high school and I made, too, in the Discord. So you know what I mean by their striking beauty. If I can find the picture, it's somewhere on my hard drive. It is noon, though, so we're going to have Fiona go serve all uh, to the banquet table. And then I'm going to bring Samira and Una over here, actually. Well, okay, I'll let Una use the bathroom really quick. We'll let Samira come in here first. Uh, all Samira really needs is socials. We're going to have them go change into... Oh, can I not change into towels from this? Is there a dresser anywhere? Did I put a dresser down? Hold on. Did these not count as lockers? I thought they were lockers. <laughs> Let's just put an actual dresser down outside of it then maybe? Because I feel like you can change into towels from dressers now. No. I guess not. Huh. Oh, should we just hire a massage therapist? No, Fiona can do a fine job. Alright. Go here. Fiona, hello. Oh, the door is locked. Right. Duh. My bad. Unlock. Go serve all. Yeah, we'll let we'll let Una get her needs up real fast. We'll let Samira take a turn at the massage table first. Head on in here, buddy. And then we will have Fiona go ahead and offer a massage, give a Swedish massage to Samira for being the joint winner along with Una for our reward poll this week. Clement, you have something to watch now. I mean, Samira's naked. I'm. She should be in a towel soon, but... Oh, yeah, see, he turned around real quick there. <laughs> okay, yes, mm, that looks really good. Well, I don't know about those robotic hands. We'll see. Oh, is it the wellness skill that helps with... I'm gonna actually cheat her wellness all the way up to 10. Um... So she's like a master giving massages. I didn't know if there was a massage skill or not. Otherwise, I would have done that beforehand. Turns out it's just wellness. Like, I know the stuff along the wellness skill came with the spa day pack. I didn't know if that had anything to do with the massages, though. For food, we got, as promised, some almond macarons. We got some vegetable tempura, sausage and peppers, a whole ass roast chicken, and some ceviche and chips. 
delicious. Lots of leftovers for Lisa Mirror to enjoy in the reward house when she's done. I'm gonna have Una go ahead and uh, hop in the sauna actually once she's done with this shower. Uh, why don't you just go relax, buddy? You don't need to do it in the nude. This is a family show full of lots of murder. Are you enjoying your massage? <laughs> oh god. I think she looks very relaxed. Stream, why are you buffering? Pause for a second for the frames to catch up. It's actually not too far behind. Okay, there we go. It's just struggling on and off, but it's not too bad, thankfully. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like uh, Samira has already finished her massage, even though Una is getting in the sauna just now. Um, we'll have a. Oh, Samira's pretty full, too, actually. Okay, well, why don't you go ahead and relax with Una at the same time, then? Then, as soon as Una's done with her, her time in the sauna, we'll have. If you want to give her a massage. Oh, they're sitting next to each other. I wasn't expecting that. They got two different styles of towel on, too. I was kind of assuming she would sit across from her since they're enemies, but maybe they're finding some common ground in here. Oh, oh. Were you done with that? Okay. No more sauna? Fine, we'll give you a massage right now, then. Um, I mean, I guess that... Oh, Jesus. Oh, we could have... Ooh. Okay. We're gonna give a Swedish massage, too, and I didn't realize there was, like, so many other options once she had a better skill. Um... And then we'll we'll give them each another massage of like something even more fancy. We'll do like an aromatherapy thing to like actually get them some soothing movements. Stream is downed. You're okay. I think it's just your computer, guys. <laughs> oh, I guess the like halter towel is the massage towel. Damn it! You not having a good time? Oh, he's miserable. Oh, buddy. Duh. You're refreshed. Okay, good. <laughs> He's trying to grab the food. It's so close, but so far. His moodlets are trash. You could get some fun up and some social. You can talk to the painting. You could view it for some fun. Samira's at least enjoying the uh, sauna, I think. She's a bit angry because of Una being in there with her, I think. Uh, we'll have Una get back in the sauna one more time as we give Samira a... Uh, Let's see, I don't know. I don't know if I can look at the options of massages. Okay, I can. Um, fertility massage, excuse me? What is a sports massage? Ooh, okay. Um, I think... Okay, could someone really quick look up... No, no, never mind. I'm pretty sure that Lavender will give them the relaxed movement, right? That's gotta be relaxed. Or like dazed or whatever. Relax their nerves a bit, you know. Men should invigorate them. Lotus Blossom should put them in a romantic mood. I don't know what Lang Lang is. Um, we're just gonna go with Lavender though. Hopefully that'll relax them. Okay. Una, why don't you get back in the sauna? We'll give them each an aromatherapy massage. And then we'll... We'll let them, you know, peruse the spa facilities if they would like. But then I won't be, like, directing them to get anything else. Okay. Lavender aromatherapy for Samira. Why don't you go ahead and get out of the sauna? Oh, see, they're doing great. They're having a happy time. Lang Lang is energy. Okay, what is mint then? I guess I just assumed mint was like invigorating and refreshing and whatever. Oh, what? Hello? Sims, please. Did you really need to just get up to fart? That's so rude. Does Una really not like the... I mean, she can talk to her friends if she wants. I'm not gonna stop her, I guess. 
I guess she really doesn't like the sauna. It's meant to be relaxing, Una. I'm very sorry if it's not for you. Do you also get aromatherapy? Oh, yeah, there we go. Lube up them gears. We'll, we'll see what buff this gives Samira, I guess. Oh, change into robe. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> stop you from doing that. Um, change back into a towel. Can I not change into a robe? Oh! And we've caught Emmett peeing his pants. Maybe for the first time in here? That's kind of impressive he held his bladder this long, if it is. No, he must have used the bathroom on himself before. Oh, you want some chips, buddy? Well, it sucks for you. What? Are you hungry? Grab food, then. Maybe... Here, why don't you grab some almond macarons? Again, I wouldn't normally direct them to grab food, but you know. God damn it, stream. Stream being annoying? I apologize. Excuse me. <laughs> Una's doing some hot daydreaming about the Grim Reaper. Ooh. <laughs> Amazing. I love that. Hey, you could maybe, you know, have a hookup with him this week, depending on how the death challenge goes. He may get his hands on you after all. <laughs> she's very tired. Uh, she's obviously allowed to go sleep once. Um, oh, they're all, like, angry because... Oh, Le is Lavender playful? No, that's from the... Maybe the buff hadn't showed up yet for the lavender aromatherapy. Okay, nope, nope, don't go wash that. You don't need to wash the plate. Come here. Let me see if that's the, like, correct mood that I want to give them. That Oh, focused. Hmm, sure. Let's see what there is in all the back. Okay. Cool, stream is fine. Thank you for keeping me updated. I, it was buffering a little on my end, but it seemed to back up pretty fast um, go here well to keep it even so no one has an advantage over the other we will also give aromatherapy to Una um, I guess focus is maybe you know it's like focusing their uh, what it's focusing their mind in on um, on the game you know keeping them nice and focused on the task at hand on winning on prevailing in the death challenge tomorrow Samira, feel free to, you know, take part in the food options here. Are we going to let all this go to waste? Clement just going to have to stare at it as it all spoils instead of uh, gets eaten by him. <laughs> Why is this such a long conversation? What are you two doing? Stop. Give her a massage. Please. Who turns down a massage? There we go. I'm actually going to save just because I'm getting paranoid about the game. <laughs> is she like not, is she denying the massage? Can Sims do that? I, I might have even ask for one if this isn't going to work. Stop it! That is incredibly rude. Let me try one more time. <laughs> Let me watch them and see if she's like literally shaking her head. No. Oh, she's embarrassed. Oh, she is turning it down, isn't she? Alright. We'll have her ask for a massage and then if that doesn't work. Was one massage enough, Una? Oh, Fiona turned her down that time. <laughs> Damn, okay. Well, Una's not going to get a second massage, but it's fine. Okay, I will stop this angry conversation at least. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, stop. 
Clean Lake is inspired. Mint is energized. Lavender is focused. And Lotus is confident. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, those are not the moonlets that I would have... Um, that I would have uh, assumed they would be. Hello? <laughs> you know what? Okay, this is a private lot, so there shouldn't be other sims, like, going on to it, even if it is uh, Tom peeping. But, um, honestly, I'm gonna allow this. This is part of the punishment, Clement. <laughs> Wait, what if... <laughs> Hold on. Not to make them all do other things, but like... Wait, can we... <laughs> Sorry, Una, I'll direct you to go back to sleep. Um, actually. Just because I don't want to unfairly remove you from it, but... <laughs> Come on, Sims. Don't let me down. Oh, bad joke. Make himself woo who? Oh, Una caught Samira. Oh. And? <laughs> I just want everyone to poop or to peep at him. How oh, can you not? Why? You mean Clement? I think we mean Clement by self. <laughs> Ooh, no, that's getting into like weird territory. I feel like we're like forcing him to masturbate. We won't do that, but we'll at least stare at him in misery. See? This is what could happen to you as well <laughs> if you are garbage and the public hates you. You too could get this punishment thrusted upon you by. Um, the the viewing audience <laughs> poor Clement wow we're really uh, showing some sympathy towards Clement <laughs> is this the one that goes too far oh my god now Samira's daydreaming about the Grim Reaper Jesus Christ wait a second hello hello ma'am Samira's always trying to fucking run away from the house damn no escaping. No. Why is she dazed from being caught peeping? With her pants down, her pants were not down. Excuse me, no. No, 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 no. This is not a sexual thing for any of you. This is a public humiliation thing in a non-sexual way thing for all of you. This is making an example of Clement. How did she get down to the park that fast without me noticing? She is so much more like physically like impressive than I <laughs> expect from her, I guess. Not to be ageist. Okay, you guys can stop now. I mean, I can't really stop Tom peeping, but Fiona, you can chill out. <laughs> As it's already about 9 p.m. Don't worry, Clement, buddy. You only got two more hours in there, and then we'll unlock the door and let you free. When does this food spoil also? Oh, another hour. Okay, you guys got an hour to take advantage of it. You know what? I'm going to literally, since I directed Una to grab some macarons, I'm going to have Samira go do that, hopefully, before they spoil real quick. Again, keep it good and fair for them so that they each got a meal. Even if I'm not that worried about Samira getting food. Obviously, she's in the reward house, but... We do. Oh, of course it's Marcus Flex. I don't even know why I was going to ask who was texting her. Why is Tom keeping really ripped right now, too? He's not- his body isn't this, like, cut usually, right? I don't know. Oh, she's immediately angry because Una's in here, too. <laughs> Sorry, Clement. Humiliation's the name of the game tonight. I guess it was the name of the game last week, technically. 
Oh, I should have had this punishment be for last week. We could have had the embarrassment theme last week. That's a that's a note for next season if we do the same kind of challenges again. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep like a similar roster. There's like not that many different things I can do for these types of challenges on the Sims. I'll try and add some difference the next time we do Hunger Games. But we'll see what happens. That won't be for a while. I feel like I'm always talking about next season of Hunger Games, like it's gonna be anytime soon, but we got a soap opera, we got Bachelorette, we got um, a little sitcom, and then maybe Hunger Games season two before Bachelor, so. Like, probably at least until September. <laughs> Watching some superhero stuff. Oh, are you gonna go try and get some roast chicken? I think it's about to spoil. Yeah, it's already spoiled. I mean, oh, <laughs> Moon is going to clean it up, poor thing. You don't need to clean that up, buddy. You don't want to give Clement a chance to eat some spoiled food once he's out of his little cage in 40 minutes. Do we have to block Marcus Flux's number? I swear. Thank you for helping out Fiona. Never mind, you set it on a f Okay, Una. <laughs> help if you're gonna help. If not, it's just patronizing to our loyal servant. Are these supposed to be spoons? What are these? Or are they just like decorative cotton swabs? I'm actually gonna have Fiona go make another meal for the morning. Uh, and then we'll let Clement on out. So go ahead and cook a single serving of a gourmet meal. As tomorrow we'll obviously set out another meal and then we have our death challenge. So the last task on the roster for tonight. Um, hmm. What should we do? Let's just do some garlic noodles. A good dose of carbs before the death challenge. Oh, hi. We got a couple of ghosts up tonight. Oh, it's our it's our favorite girls. We got Sharifa finally visiting along with Tara for the first time. I don't remember if Sharifa's visited at all or not, but both of our favorite ladies are out and active tonight. Gonna cause some havoc in the house, I'm sure. Um, it is a little bit past midnight now, though, so we will unlock the door. There you go, Clement. <laughs> You're free from isolation. You're still not going to be able to go to the fridge. I don't know what you think you're doing. You are free to go take a shower finally, get some sleep. You could have slept in here. I assume he did pass out at some point. You would have had to. Um, oh, he's happy from morning. Oh, he's remembering the good times he had with his friend. Which, who are you friends with? Roderick, I'm assuming? That's the highest one. Oh, of course he was only friendly with all of the men in the house. Typical. Also, what's your beef with Eva? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> well, if you're bored, go do something then. Oh! Tara, best ghost. Actually helping clean up instead of breaking everything. Sharif, what are you doing? You gonna be helpful or not? I like the electrocuted ghost though and all the aqua. Well, sounds like she's about to clean too. <laughs> helpful ghosts for once, I love. Did you make garlic noodles? You didn't. Resume the noodles, please, ma'am. Because it looks like everyone's actually taking a nap. Oh, Una and Clement are sharing a bed. You didn't even take a shower first? I guess sleep. You are exhausted. You could have napped in the bathtub as you're so fond of. Well, I'm sorry, you have to share a bed with this disgusting person. Oh no. Samira was spooked away by the goat spooked awake by the ghosts. Scared by ghosts. 
You can go ahead and sleep. I don't think these girls are going to do anything to you. Stop getting spooked. You saw them. <laughs> you know there's a lot of ghosts on this lot at this point. And you could be joining them this week. We don't know yet. Go ahead and fast forward a bit. Put these garlic noodles away until morning. Fast forward a bit through the night here though. No one's really doing anything. Everyone's kind of sleeping. I mean, Samira's still just standing up staring at her uh, departed friends now. Nothing too exciting there. We're just gonna have a standoff in the main area of the VIP room now. <laughs> What is dirty in here? Why are you so uncomfortable? Oh, you're comfortable? Then clean it. Samira, you okay? You need a little reset after all the spooking? I literally have never noticed that there's lights on this wall divider before. That is good to know for future use, for lighting up a room a bit more, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why I've never noticed that. These two look very peaceful in their slumber. Oh my god, Samira. I'm like literally gonna make you go to sleep at some point, because of you standing here just getting scared all night. What's happening? <laughs> They're your lovely friends. You can't be that terrified. Fiona back on the computer. Are you chatting with people again? Oh, she just loves to interact with the fandom. Duh. Good. <laughs> Y'all better be being nice to Fiona on the forums. Sorry again about the caps. Say, what is my caps limit set at? I didn't think it was that high. I mean, I didn't think it was that low. I thought it was pretty high. <laughs> I'll set it to like a hundred when I reset it. Oh, it looks like Una's getting up. Oh, I guess it is like 6 a.m. Uh, if you're hungry, well, you got a chance to get a meal. I mean, it's probably better for Clement to get the meal. He's had less of a chance to eat, for sure. <gasps> Bella loves her cookies. Good. Good pup. I'm very glad she does. She deserves all the cookies. <laughs> very cute. Since it is almost 8 a.m., we're going to go ahead and... Where are the garlic noodles? Are you eating them? God damn it. Alright, we're gonna have Fiona go make another batch of garlic noodles. We have a lot of leftovers, but... <laughs> oh wait, she can chat- she can flirt with the refrigerator? I didn't know that Fiona could do that. Maybe we should have Fiona strike up a relationship with the, the fridge. It seems like the nicest companion of hers. We'll have her make some more noodles though. It'll be a um, freshly made hot dish this morning instead of microwaved meal from the night before. <laughs> well, I guess there's no microwave. Have we just been serving them like cold leftovers no matter what it is in the morning? Because <laughs> I'm okay with that being canon. If you're hungry, you're gonna eat it. I don't care if it's cold and nasty. Yeah, I'm gonna have her flirt with the, with the fridge once she's done making these noodles. <laughs> we set the meal out for whoever will get it. Where is Clement? He's still asleep in bed. All right, buddy. If meal time is slightly delayed, it's Samira's fault.
what's happening? Oh, it's just broken. Okay. Thought a fire had started. We're not ready for a fire yet. Bella loves her cookies. There we go. At least that amount of caps is allowed, apparently. <laughs> Alright, Una. It seems like Una is gonna end up getting the the pasta here. Unless Clement can snake his way in. Oh my god, me too, Una, honestly. I feel like the caps limit for Nightbot is maybe set at 25. I don't know if that's correct or not. That just seems to be like a general baseline that a lot of streamers have. And I probably just went with whatever I'd seen on other chats back in the day when I set up Nightbot. Oh, it's 8 a.m. though. We'll unlock it. Yeah, I think Una's a shoe in for this meal. What are you trying to do? Grab a serving of what? To find my limits. <laughs> That's what I figured you were doing today. Oh no, Samira's sick. We're gonna fix that actually. <laughs> Go take some medicine, please. Oh, oh. Right, Una, come on. No. The food's right there if you want it. How close is Clement to starving? <laughs> 15 hours, okay. He should be fine. <laughs> We'll, we'll count it. If he doesn't get this meal, uh, it'll be just like last week. Um, if he dies from starvation before anyone can die from the death challenge, then that's going to count as the death. But uh, Which could be a possibility, because Una did grab the meal. Wow, Clement's just really gotten the short end of the stick the past few days. <laughs> he is not having a good time. I guess you were correct, Say. He is going to need the good luck this episode, for sure. <laughs> You go ahead and eat your garlic noodles, Una. I think Una and Samira are, like, fine. Yeah, Una... Or, oh, God. I accidentally dragged the camera that far, but when it seems like the, um... Uh... Camera jumps somewhere randomly, I get really scared. <laughs> oh, no, Zay, I'm sorry. You got timed out again, and it's for 200 seconds this time, because it was too fast in a row that you got timed out. I'll tell you your limits after stream. I'll go and look at the limits and change them after stream. I'll actually do that tonight. <laughs> How about that? I'll change it to 200 characters of caps. I'm okay with that. I don't think I need a super big limit on it right now. I don't have like a crazy large chat that's gonna spam caps constantly and be annoying. I guess we can decrease it in the future if I gain a much larger community. Hopefully if I get bigger and have a bigger community, it won't be obnoxious ass assholes on Twitch, but <laughs> I guess you never know. I can't control who's here and who's not. I mean, I guess I can block people. Alright, talk with your friends. Like, well, I guess that like makes sense since you don't really have any friends in the house. If you want to go back to them chat rooms, of course, as we're just a couple same hours away from the death challenge for the week. Samira's getting some rest on the couch, I guess, instead of in her nice cushy bed. Uh, Clement's still fast asleep. He's been sleeping all night in this bed. He should be good and well. <laughs> he should be very well rested for the challenge, at least, even though none of his other needs are taken care of. Uh, geek cons in town, I guess. That's nice. So once it reaches noon, of course, we'll get rid of the spa and isolation chamber, and I'll set up the death challenge, and then, you know, that'll be our last event for the episode, of course. Very excited. It's another one that shouldn't take too long, hopefully, but um, we'll do our best. <laughs> wow, that's very... Poor Samira, man. First Fiona, now Una. People just keep watching TV around her <laughs> when she's trying to take a nap. Sorry you keep getting startled awake by the television. Especially by people you hate. <laughs> what is this one? Oh, I just, just cause she doesn't like the sim, okay. Oh, Clement is finally up. Oh, you're hungry, buddy. You looking at the time and noticing that you missed meal time by a couple hours. Rough deal, my dude. You are really not doing great. Nico's feeling lucky, apparently. <laughs> I guess he needed that luck a few weeks ago, didn't you? <laughs> he 
he's like having a rough time. <laughs> I guess the whole show is kind of like um, the people in the in the game voyeuring him through the windows. It's just a metaphor for the grander scale of uh, the the show watching him be miserable. <laughs> Sorry, I put stuff tonight, but I'm very much having fun with getting timed out. <laughs> you are fine, Zay. <laughs> Nightbot doesn't have feelings. <laughs> and if you are fine continuing to get timed out, then you go for it, buddy. You're gonna keep getting timed out, like, more, like, a longer and longer time period, I'm pretty sure. If you keep doing it, like, in rapid succession, <laughs> but <laughs> it is your choice. That is... Uh, you are free to do as you'd like in my chat. Where is Samira? Oh, she's finally going to take a... Oh, I thought she was in the shower. Okay, she's just using the bathroom. But it is almost noon. Alright, it is finally noon. It looks like... Oh, is Comet finally going to use the bathroom? Well, uh, with every need except for energy in the red, it is time for the death challenge, buddy. So, uh, unfortunately, you're not going to get an opportunity to get take care of those needs. Luna's going in with uh, pretty much everything all good. Samir's a little tired, a little stinky, but that's not too big a deal. Uh, so we'll see how those needs play a role in our death challenge. Um, which I will be setting up. <laughs> I don't think you can get banned by Nightbot, but <laughs> if you'd like to test it, uh, go go for it. I don't, yeah, I don't think Nightbot can ban people. Um, but you'll, I guess, have a few minutes to test if you'd <laughs> like to do so. And so we're going to go to our last commercial break of the night, of course, as I set up our death challenge. And then I'll be right back in just a couple minutes uh, to see who dies and which to make it into the final two for our finale next week. So stay tuned and we will be right back with some death. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you for copying Zay's message that got banned because of Nightbot. Yeah, I guess mods don't get affected by the night out rules, but, uh, hello, welcome back, uh, to, to our Hunger Games challenge, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on me on real fast to make sure the <laughs> audio's on as well, but welcome, welcome, it is time for our death challenge, and, uh, welcome Jenna, it is uh, obviously alright that you are late, thank you for being here, you're tuning in for the most dramatic part, of course, our death challenge, um, Let's see, Samira won the reward house, uh, Una and Samira won the reward, they tied for the reward pull, so they both got the reward of having a nice little spa day, they got some massages from Fiona, and some food, and um, Clement got the punishment, of course, uh, unsurprisingly, and so he was set to be in solitary confinement during the second free day. Well, the other two ladies got a bit of a spa day, and there was windows so we could watch them get a massage and eat a, you know, buffet table of food uh, just from afar and be sad about it. That's basically all you really missed. And um, at the very beginning of the episode, actually, uh, Clement uh, uncanonically started to <laughs> drown, but it was like the beginning of the episode, and um, so I reloaded because I'm like, listen, <laughs> I can't have someone die at the beginning of the episode, otherwise we would have to end here, and it'll mess up my whole uh, plans for semifinals and finals next week, so. Uh, I did reload, uh, which felt a little unfair because the game um, just just had him drowning, but because of that, I decided to put him in the death challenge arena like an hour or so ahead of the other two ladies to compensate for that. That's how we're gonna cover it, okay. Uh, actually sad. I miss Clement being sad. Oh no, well, if you, you can go back and watch. There was lots, plenty of uh, voyeuristic uh, opportunities to watch Clement be miserable. He got lots of hate mail again. He's been having a rough week, man. Um, he's pretty close to starving, so we're gonna run it just like last week, uh, where if he dar dies from starvation before anyone else dies in the death challenge, we will count that as the death. Um, I think, yeah, we got 11 hours. It shouldn't take that long, but I guess we'll see. Uh, oh yeah, Fiona... <laughs> Una died at the very beginning of the episode and none of us know how. It just, like, suddenly she was a gravestone. It literally, like, blinked into a gravestone. There was no death message, no Grim Reaper. It was really weird. It was wild. <laughs> but that brings us now, finally, to our death challenge. So this week, um, we're gonna get a little hot. That's why we got our hot weather wear outfits on. And, um, we can go ahead and get started here. We're gonna see who burns to death first. Oh gosh, did I not lock this door for you two? Okay, 
Okay, I meant to lock it for them. I swear to God I did, but <laughs> do not put the fire out. Um, <laughs> we're going to leave Clement trapped in here with the fire for um, one sim hour before we let the girls enter as well. And then whoever gets burnt up first is, is who's going to get burnt up, okay? <laughs> oh, I can't lock this Well, there's a fire going on, isn't can I? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, if he somehow gets his dumb ass, like, killed before they can... Um, Head in there then. Uh, then Clement will end up dying. <laughs> I'm gonna pause for a second and have Fiona, of course, um, go and make a grand meal for them to eat afterwards. This fridge is at least locked. Oh, she can't because there's a fire on the lot. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll have her do that afterwards then. She still can't get in here because this one's locked. She'll just have to watch from outside. <laughs> it's Clement's back to do a corner. We'll wait until 2 p.m. On the sim clock. I guess that's technically more than like one sim hour, but this is tense. Good. Good. I'm glad. So, again, hopefully this shouldn't take too, too long. We'll see, I guess. Um, I might have them extinguish the fire actually, like at 2 p.m., and then start a new one um, once they're in there. We know very well could die. You're correct. Yeah, at 2 p.m. I think I will have them like actually extinguish it. We'll start a new fire with all three of them in there. Uh, Clement will just have his own private chance to die first. <laughs> as is uh, the compensation for reloading his drowning earlier in the episode. <laughs> and then after that I will stop anyone trying to extinguish things. Free will is on, so... Let's just go into fast forward. He's peeing himself. That might actually help. That might be a good defense against it. I don't know how flammable urine is, to be completely honest. Um, Alright, it is 2 p.m. though, so uh, why don't you all go ahead and <laughs> extinguish this. Round one is over. Alright, Clement, you made it past your punishment trial. <laughs> um, and with all of you inside the gate, well, we'll wait until the fire is out. I also mainly wanted to put it out so I could make sure to, like, lock this gate door so they can't get out, you know, and actually start. Oh, no. Extin oh, no, go I don't didn't mean to go there. Extinguish. I don't. I'm gonna have her. Should I, should I have her extinguish herself, or does this count? Because I didn't start round two yet. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna count that so she can extinguish herself. If it if it won't stop after this one, then um, we'll we'll just we'll just leave it. But <laughs> I did it. I was gonna start around two that we did not start yet. Um, okay. Can we lock the Can we lock the door now? I'm I'm gonna at least have them move to like three different corners to give them the best fighting shot, you know? Any death on a game ch death challenge counts. <laughs> that is not how we have worked it before. Come off it. <laughs> okay, I think... Okay, yes. Alright. It is officially uh, put out now. So now we will lock the door for everyone. The game was glitching. <laughs> Because we had that happen many a time on Bachelor, where we would try to put out a fire and it would not work. So now we can actually have Fiona start a grand meal as well. <laughs> In the background. Let's do, um, what feels fiery? I don't know. I wish that was like a spicy option. We'll just go with ham dinner, I guess. That feels like the heaviest meat. I don't know why, like, fire, spicy things feel like a heavier meal in my head. That doesn't really make sense, but, um, it's time to start another fire. <laughs> And uh, hopefully Fiona will just keep cooking throughout the madness. She might not. Nope, she's going to stop. All right. We'll have her cook afterwards then. And now I will stop them if they try and put it out. God damn it. Come on. Stop it. Nope. Put it, don't put it out. But if people go over to, like, extinguish it and then they stay standing there, I'm not going to move them. Yeah, fire is very glitchy. This is one that I've tested, like, a few times, though. And it should work this way if I just stop them from extinguishing themselves. Someone will die. Um... And once someone starts dying, I will, you know, get the other ones, uh, teleported out of there. 
Oh, I should have bought, bought some, like, teleport statues first. <laughs> Since right-click teleport here is, like, kind of trash. Last week, if Clement had died of hunger before it was over, you would have counted it, but the game glitching should not count. Yeah. No, exactly. No, if he dies of hunger first, it still counts. That's not the game glitching. He's got eight hours, so... He's not looking great with the fire. I mean, he's the one who ran to start, like... Extinguishing it first and did not move back to his corner. That's his own fault. <laughs> it's looking it's not looking great for Clement right now. Okay. Um because they do all seem kind of stationary, I'm gonna keep it fair. We're gonna oh, I can't I'm gonna at least reset them all. Can it stacks? Is that a blessing? Yeah. I'm gonna bone there and Samira LeBlanc. <laughs> okay. So they should all be reset now. <laughs> Autonomy is on full, I'm pretty sure. We will double check really fast. Yeah, it is. So we should be all good. They're just standing around then. Okay, yeah, they're not frozen because they're like moving. Come on, buddy. You might want to move. I mean, I'm not sure which way the fire is going to spread, but. Clearly, uh, everyone's pretty stressed and everyone's, like, kind of, uh, <laughs> angry because they all hate each other. Of course, Jenna, no, I appreciate the double-checking. <laughs> yeah, he is not doing great. He's stressed because of the fire. Oh, he's actually not too- okay, only Una and Samira are, like, angry because of people that they hate. <laughs> Y'all's prayers might be answered. Clement <laughs> wants out. <laughs> Oh, the fire's starting to spread this direction a little bit, though. He's gotten very lucky in, like, death challenges before, though. So, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Like, again, he's he's in the worst position right now. But the game has been very kind to him so far. It's like the fate... Uh, the, the gods have not wanted him smited quite yet. Smote? What? I don't actually know the past tense of... Oh, poor Fiona's freaking out. It's okay, buddy. This is on purpose. Oh. It's starting to spread this direction a little bit. Samira only looks charred because of last time, but we put her out, so. I'm just going to reset them again to make sure. But I noticed this, like, when I was, like, testing this out, um, if people just kind of, uh, if they try to put out the fire and stuff, sometimes they do just kind of get, like, like, start just standing still, um, and it's not that they're glitched or anything, they just, like, if you cancel them extinguishing something enough times, they kind of just give up. <laughs> If Clement doesn't die this round, I'm going to root for him, that little cockroach. <laughs> like, it's kind of fair. Like, I'm kind of, like, impressed at this point that he's made it this far, you know? What happened in solitary? Um, he was miserable the whole time. And then, um, Tom Peeping showed up and started peeping through the window. And then I thought it was funny, so I made everyone peep through the window and just, like, voyeur him a little bit. <laughs> isn't looking great <laughs> look it's the it's up to the fates of where the fire spreads man <laughs> four of clement starves to death first it's got five hours i don't think he's gonna starve to death before the fire catches someone though to be honest fast forward it a little bit more <laughs> it was fucked <laughs> what solitary <laughs> looking forward to watching it that yeah that was pretty entertaining um, he got to watch una and samira get some lovely massages from fiona you know just sit in misery Oof, oof, oof. That is not looking great. Samira's not doing great. Una's kind of been untouched over here. The fire storms were a little, but I don't know if it's gonna get to her before uh, this turns into something, though. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I think that, um... Shut up, God. 
You know what? If Samira dies here, honestly, the reward house is kind of a curse. Because the past three weeks in a row, it's been the person who won the reward house that died. Sharifa won it, got electrocuted. Tara won it, got embarrassed to death. Samira won it this week. It's really looking like she's gonna die in this fire challenge, folks. Clement is a demon. Honestly, maybe he is. He must have made a deal with, like, Grim Reaper, like, the first episode when he showed up for Nico or some shit because this little dude like he's really like been listen I've tr I'm not trying to like advantage him or anyway like it wasn't he's had a fair shot to die as much as everyone else um feel free to give us Una the reward next week <laughs> yep there it is you guys he's evil and fire literally ran from him I know, like, he was, like, right there. He was in the middle of it. Is he evil? No, he's not even evil, like, trade-wise. He's just neat, hot-headed, and I'm flirty. Unfortunately, Una- Er, sorry, whoa. Samira is dying in the fire, so I'm gonna have Una move on over here. <laughs> and Clement. Um, I'm gonna- Oh, I can't unlock this, can I? No. Um, we'll- we'll put out that fire in a minute, but, uh... <laughs> we'll get them away from where the fire is spreading. And Samira has died in- our fifth death challenge, unfortunately. Um, I'm very sad about that. She was like basically my fave after this episode. She was really kicking everyone's butt. It's like when everyone, it's kind of like Big Brother. If you get too confident and think you're doing well and get kind of like, you know, cocky about it, like you get fucked over. I don't know. Every week there's been people that are really doing well. They're kind of thriving. They win their reward house challenge. They're like, you know, being kind of little snakes, stealing meals from people and beds and shit, sort of. Um, uh, taking shit from people, like, getting just really confident in the game, and then it always comes back to bite them. Um, so unfortunately, Samira has died, and, um, which means her daughter with cancer is probably gonna end up dying too, because this was pretty much the family's only hope to have enough money to, like, pay for, uh, you know, our treatments and stuff, insurance is expensive, and so, um, yeah, pretty sad day for all of them. But it looks like death finally caught up to Samira. She's escaped her so many times in her life. But um, I think she's okay, though, at peace that this is how she was meant to die all along. Uh, going up in, in flames as her fellow tributes watch on. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can um, <laughs> teleport. Oh, I can't. Oh, god damn it. Um, His behavior, not tr his traits. That's kind of what I figured, but I was, like, curious if he also did have, like, an evil trait. <laughs> um, how did I... How did I extinguish this before? I don't remember. <laughs> Voting for Clement now. I fucking hate him, but... <laughs> fair. Didn't like him that much before, but he was better than all the rest, and now he's a legend. Let's... We don't need to, like, push it. But, you guys, uh, very smelly Clement and Una are our final two. Tribute number one and tribute number eight, the first and last ones um, in the, the number sequential uh, order there of prisoner numbers, basically, <laughs> are our final two going into the finale next week. Wild. Um, we will get them out of here as fast as possible. We'll get... Um, I'm going to bump Clement's hunger up a bit because um, I don't know how long it's going to take to get <laughs> this situation taken care of. I'll do the death... Uh, or, um, fire false what am i typing <laughs> fire toggle false what is the cheat not sure if Gigi's planning a special vote for finals that's different though um i hate clement so much i can't believe he's still here no same he's really escaped it that many times and i gotta give him props at this point because i'm gonna look up the like take out way fire um <laughs> cheat oh and there's samira's uh gravestone we can actually put it out here and engrave it uh, at the end of the episode for once i think Never mind, I can't because there's fire. Why can't I click on anything when there's fire? Um, <laughs> so I'm going to stop the fire cheat so we can get them in the house and get some food to them. Uh, <laughs> um, the, the voting for next week is not going to be anything particularly special when it comes to the polls for the finale. Um, we are going to have a very special finale, but um, it will still be a reward and punishment. Uh, neither the reward or punishment are going to be too detrimental or like too much of an advantage necessarily for the finale. Because they are the final two, they're, it's going to be a pretty cushy week until the very end um, for their final death challenge. Uh, although it'll be, it'll be a pretty like exquisite death challenge is all I'll say. Uh, 
for the remaining two. But they made it this far. They somehow beat death at six other opportunities. So they deserve, or I guess five, since we had uh, a skip week. <laughs> uh, so they deserve, you know, a nice week for someone's last week on Earth and someone's last week on Earth until they become a millionaire, basically. No extinguished cheese in there? Okay, fine. Um... <laughs> I will, I can't click on anything. Um, I'll fix, I'll fix it somehow. If not, we'll do a like, I'll reload the game and load and kill Samir like we've done before. <laughs> um, if I can't figure it out, but uh, we can go ahead and end stream here. I'll at least get it all sorted out before next week. Of course, as I've done in the past for death challenges that have gone a little awry. Um, thank you for looking into that though. But uh, yeah. The, Fire toggle false. Okay, let's try that real fast. But <laughs> toggle false. That didn't work great for Bachelor, but let's see if it works here. I think that'll just only stop fires from spawning at least. Oh well, I'll fix it, you guys. <laughs> uh, but it is late enough. We got our full ups. Oh yeah, we got two hours forty minutes. That's a solid episode length. Um, we can leave it on Una, Grim, and Clement here. Uh, Una annoyed it at death uh, for taking Samira, and Clement confused why he's not been taken by him already. Uh, <laughs> maybe Una's just debating whether she should make a move or not, since she was daydreaming about um, Grim earlier in the episode. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get the situation all sorted out. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for being here and supporting the stream. Of course, I appreciate it very, very much. I hope to see you next week for our Sims 4 Hunger Games finale to see who comes out champion, whether it will be Una or Clement, who ends up being the winner of the million dollars and their uh, continued life in the world. Uh, we have some special surprises for next week. They'll have a fun week, and um, yeah, we have some surprise uh, guests for them and for you all to meet as well. So we'll have a fun finale next week, and then we'll have the reunion next week where we'll have some fun activities planned uh, where we get to see all of our favorites yet again. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you all later, cuties. Love you all. Nighty-night.